those little fake articles where they kind of take something and twist it and put a lot of words in people's mouths? Hello, everyone. I am Mecca. And this whole Scarlett Johansson suing Disney thing keeps piling on layers and layers and layers and layers. Scarlett Johansson has called Disney sexist, misogynist, whatever. Misogynistic Disney. Here you go. There's two of them related. Scarlett Johansson slams misogynistic Disney. Disney response as Mouse House tries to move Black Widow's suit behind closed doors. So there is an update. Looks like they're trying to get her to settle out of court here. It's updated at 8.44 a.m. As anyone who has seen a Marvel movie or reads the comic knows, the Black Widow moves fast and deadly. And that's exactly what Scarlett Johansson did this morning. After initially responding to the litigation with a misogynistic attack against Scarlett Johansson, Disney is now predictably trying to hide its misconduct in a confidential arbitration. Oh, yes. <clears throat> said the Oscar nominee's main lawyer, John Berlinski, today. After the House of Mouse response to Johansson's scathing profits, lawsuit went public. Wow, that's a mouthful. Why is Disney so afraid of litigating this case in public? Added, wow, I can't pronounce this other guy's name. Kaus... Kasowitz Benson Taurus LLP attorneys in what has become a Cuban Missile Crisis level war of words. I doubt that. Are you going to get the reading masses offended by, yeah, it was a real serious thing and the world almost blowed up because of re, 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 re. Do they know? Do they know what it is? They probably don't even know what it is anymore. Because it knows that Marvel's promise to give Black Widow a typical theatrical release like other, like its other films, had everything to do with guaranteeing that Disney wouldn't cannibalize box office receipts in order to boost Disney Plus subscriptions, Berlinski adds. As Disney insists Marvel's contract with Johansson provides for arbitration exactly in the event of a dispute like this one that erupted on July 29th. Yet this is exactly what happened and we look forward to presenting the overwhelming evidence that proves it. Uh-huh, whether or not Brian Lord or, and, and Johansson's reps at CCA weigh in is to, is TBD. But clearly, no one is afraid of pushing the buttons now. Uh-huh. And the previous one. The House of Mouse tried to blunt Black Widow's bite as expected in a witching hour filing last night while Disney Company took to Scarlett Johansson to task, took her to task, to make her financial dispute with them over Black Widow public. Marvel. See, that's the thing. You, oh, wow. Do they have a problem with women going public on shit? I hate to say women. Just anybody going public. How about this? Any, do they have a problem with anybody going public anymore? Because that's really what it kind of boils down to. They're going to paint her as a raging Karen or something. They're going to victim blame. They're going to do all these things. And then, of course, she's going to clap back with misogyny because... What other reason is it other than you don't want to hear? Uh, and, and I hate saying, and I don't know if it is misogynistic, but Disney is certainly kind of misogynistic in like the, the ways that are not, not how they virtue signal, I should say. Not in the ways that, because this is one of those companies that likes to say, oh yes, believe women, believe women, believe women. But they have a problem, like every fucking person they have a problem with is a woman. And I see this time and time again with all of these people who virtue signal the loudest and the hardest every goddamn time is like okay maybe you actually do maybe you are a little this or that because look what happens with the sjw types to bring them into play how many times when when they just are like see look how look how look how look how much of an ally we are we're so progressive we're so amazing we're so wonderful and they're the most istophobic people they're the people who resort to the slurs they're the people who resort to all that shit immediately immediately I think we all do that to, to a certain extent, though. I think we all kind of resort to our, our tribe-based stereotypes at one point. And yeah, look at Disney. Look what you're doing. The Marvel parent company demanding the whole thing go behind closed doors. Periwinkle agreed that all claims arising out of, in connection with, or relating to Scarlett Johansson's acting services for Black Widow would be submitted to confidential binding arbitration in New York. Says the motion filed in L.A. Superior Court on Friday by Disney's outside lawyers, Daniel Petroselli, Leah Godsky, yada yada, who cares? All right. And then you can read the whole complaint here. Wow. 
Whether per Periwinkle's claims against Disney fall within the scope of the agreement is not a close call. Periwinkle's interference and indu inducement, inducement, inductment. Wow, I need a lawyer to read lawyer talk. The allegations that Marvel breached the contract's requirements that any release of Black Widow included a white theatrical release in no less than 1,500 screens. The 23-page motion adds, taking a direct swipe at the obvious Achilles heel of the longtime Marvel star's July 29th filed suit. The plain and expansive language of the arbitration agreed easily encompasses, pass encompasses Periwinkle's complaint. Periwinkle the eyeshadow. It's, it's a My Little Pony, isn't it? <laughs> Then, in the kind of language that Petroli's clients like to see, and mirroring Disney's initial response to Johansson's 29th legal action, the O'Malevy and Myers attorneys get a little rough. In a futile effort to evade this unavoidable result and generate publicity through public filing, Periwinkle excluded Marvel as a party to this lawsuit, substituting instead its parent company, Disney, under contract. Interference theories, they lash out, but long-standing principles do not permit such gamemanship. All right, so they want an October 15th hearing in DTLA on the arbitration matter. The company's formal response also reveals that they that they and subsidiary Marvel on August 10th, 2021, Marvel and Disney served on served on a periwinkle served periwinkle on a demand for a confidential arbitration. Oh, okay. And Ms. Johansson's team has not responded to that demand yet. On the other hand, Disney did respond last night officially to Johansson and her lawyer's interpretation of her contract with Marvel, specifically having seen exes Bob Iger. Oh, execs exes. <laughs> you know, they might as well be Bob Iger, Bob Chapek. <laughs> it's a romantic comedy. Seen their, their payouts in the actor's legal action, the company and its hired muscle center on what's putting the repeatedly pandemic-delayed Black Widow on streamers Disney Plus as well as on the big screen. Uh-huh. Paid $20 million up front, as Disney harshly revealed back in July 29th for Black Widow, Johansson has claimed she was promised a release that is exclusive to movie theaters. After Chapek himself took a dig at Johansson in a suit in the company's latest earnings call on 20... Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, actually, I did. I think I did a video on that. I forgot about that one. There's been so many updates to this. It's insane. Disney now officially and firmly say their one-time, long-time star has it wrong. Although Marvel and Disney share Perry Winkle's frustration with the challenges associated with the release of film during an ever-shifting public health crisis, Perry Winkle's claims that Marvel breached the agreement and Disney included the otherwise breach or otherwise yada yada so yeah they're they're just saying disney's a poopy head they put it into the theater without her if you really want to read their their uh bitch fight their little bitch slap contest back and forth it's all in here why are they taking shots at their actress why are people like seriously disney i thought you were professional you're supposed to be you know the professional studio is it because you're too big to fail at this point and you're like well we have a cult so it doesn't matter we can say and do what we want that's kind of what it feels like but I, I guess as to the original portion of the video where i talked about are they putting words in people's mouths elizabeth olsen it looks like i don't know if they're putting words in her mouth or not but they're certainly talking about her having scar joe's back here I don't know if they're twisting what she said. I mean, she says she's so tough. And literally when I read that, I was like, good for you, Scarlet. That sounds very, very neutral. That just sounds like I'm not going to piss off my employers if I'm coming back, which I probably am at some point. But I also have seen the news and I applaud, you know, my co-Starlet, my, my fellow sister in the Disney you know, marginalized Disney actresses. <laughs> they, uh, what are you guys saying? So ScarJo basically is burning bridges right now. Well, she already said she was done with the character a while back. She already said, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm not coming back to this character. So she already said that. I think she's just pissed because she would have gotten like a huge, like that movie, they were probably promising her. They were probably talking her up. They probably, and I'm just speculating based on kind of how some of these stars are. It's like, she was already out. Like her character was already dead. They probably said, will you please, please, please do this. We don't have all this money to pay you right now because it's tied up in X, Y, Z, but we can give you all of this ginormous big profit on the back end. And this movie, like this movie is going to make a billion dollars. Look at the last three. Look, 
Captain Marvel made a billion dollars. And Endgame made a billion dollars. Every Marvel movie makes a billion dollars. You're going to get a big chunk of the profit. Rob, what's the, uh, if he's in the background, can we do the math on, let's say the movie makes a billion dollars and her cut, she was supposed to have a certain percentage. Was it, do you remember the percentage? I can't remember. I think it's in the article here. But that's a big cut. And I can't do the math off the top of my head because I don't know which one. But she lost another movie where she was a solo. That also. So they're going with this on everywhere now. They're going with this even on Deadline. Sides with. Are they trying to throw her under the bus? Because I don't know if she said she sided with her. I don't know. That's why I said I have no idea. Are they just putting words in her mouth? WandaVision star Elizabeth Olsen has voiced her support for Scarlett Johansson amid her lawsuit against Disney surrounding the release of her Marvel blockbuster Black Widow. I think she's so tough. And literally when I read that, I was like, good for you, Scarlett. I'm worried about a bunch of things. Not worried on Scarlett's behalf, Olsen said, but I'm worried about small movies getting the opportunity to be seen in theaters. That was already a thing pre co Ooh, ooh. Johansson filed her suit, yada, yada. So does Elizabeth Olsen get a back-end deal of some of this stuff, I wonder, for her next project? Maybe. Maybe that's why she's like, yay, go, go. Maybe she's just rooting for her. And now they're, oh, because this is how Disney does. So now we're probably going to see some hit pieces on Elizabeth Olsen. And the lawsuit is especially sad and distressing, a spokesperson said. Yeah, so they're basically saying that ScarJo... Re, re, we're mad that ScarJo tattled on us, and uh, we're all about whamming until we're not, right? While organizations including Women in Film, Reframe, Time's Up, and sag -Afra have also come to the two-time Oscar nominee's defense, her war words with Disney appears to be ongoing. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this clip. I'm going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! Let's get real for once, let's get real for twice. You know what's strange? Uh, I, I, I think I might be gay.